We are live in Cleveland, Ohio for another exciting episode of SCW Impact. I am your one-man color commentator, Linnaeus Peters, and we're still coming off the heels of our latest Invasion show. We got a lot in store for you guys tonight, including what should be an awesome, 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 I'm talking awesome, times four main event. We got an open challenge for the television championship, and it has been answered on social media way before this match was even signed. JM will put his title on the line against the one and only former SCW UK Heritage Champion that is the Lone Rider himself, Brad Hawk. Mm -hmm. It's Judgment Day against the man on the motorcycle. Who's going to come out the winner in this first ever matchup on SCW Impact? And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, but we finally get to see the settled grudge match that I personally have been waiting for. Espiga Kid of the Lucha Force takes on the brand new All Attitude Antonio Hernandez. That's right, a former member of the Lucha Force stabbed, stabbed, stabbed Espiga Kid and Criente Santos in the back. And now Espiga Kid is not only going to get some retribution for himself, but retribution for his tag team partner as well. Who's going to come out on top in that? Before we get to any of these matches, though, we got our hero, Eric Ademia, who is not looking very happy right now as she came up short in winning the finals of the Supreme Queen Tournament. She looks a little disappointed. As anybody else would when you make it all the way to the finals of a tournament and you lose, anybody would be disappointed. No one's immune to that. Erica pouring her heart out to the SCW faithful. And somebody's music has hit. Hey, hey, the lights went out. Who the hell is that, dude? Wow, she looks creepy. Erica does not look impressed. I don't know who this random lady is, but Erica seems to be dumb for Oh! Oh! She just slapped the taste out of her nose! You go, Erica! You you get her girl. Oh, this random this 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 unknown assailant known as Nikita. Now I got the upper hand on Eric Ademia as he stretches out the arms and the spine of our hero. The fans don't like it. They're booing her. They don't like her, apparently. But this Nikita seems to have the upper hand right now in this fight. Look out, look out. Erica! Erica with the back elbow now. Erica will defend herself. We all know that. She knows how to handle herself. Oh, another back elbow by, by your hero. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look, at the, look, at the, look at that hip toss. That's what you get. That's what you get. You go, Erica. You go, Erica. Oh, no! Nice trip by Erica. 
America. We got to get some security out here. We got to get somebody out here to break up these two. Oh, God, a clothesline. We got to take a commercial break. But when we come back, we'll have our first match on SCW Impact Live from Cleveland. We're back here live on SCW Impact. Where the first match has started. Oh, Lord. These two big men. Pounds. I know Loto weighs more than it. See a clear window between these two. Oh! It's just pounding the, the back of Brandon. For the body shot there. Loto and Brandon were once for higher guns. Oh, God. I think Loto is still affiliated with Chase De Niro. Look out here. Look out. Oh! Head. Uses every inch of his body as a weapon. And that's what you gotta do against a man like Brandon. Oh man, oh god, look at the strike! The pound speed. Or he's going to gain some momentum. Here he comes! Oh! Brandon moved out of the way, and now here comes the big man. Or the other big man is more like it. Oh! Close line! They better get away from me, man. They've gone on the outside of the ring three times now. We're at nine. We're at nine, dudes. Nine. Nine. They're still fighting. I don't think you guys understand. The, 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 I'm, I'm talking about these two in front of me. I'm not talking about you guys watching. Freaking, freaking Brandon and Loto over here still fighting. The referee has counted to 10, but the fight still goes on. Look out! Oh! These two don't care about no damn match. They don't care about who wins and who loses. They just want to beat the sh out of each other, man. They just want to beat the holy hell out of each other's arses. Loto's looking pissed. Loto's looking pissed. Or maybe just angry. He's a wild Samoan dude. Oh, God! Picking up the big man. Slamming him through the guardrail. Nobody won the match, but Brandon definitely got... Brandon definitely lost this, whatever this was, round fight. Oh, God. Back here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Hero. Back here on SW Impact, getting set for some singles competition in the women's division. Sakura Hero of the Akaku clan. Firing young superstar here in SCW. 22 years of age. He's been competing in he's competed in in uh, promotions like uh, Stardom and Shimmer Women's Athletes. Mm -hmm. Sakura Hero knows how to bring the fight to you. Sakura's opponent making her wait. Here she comes. Accompanied by Man D. And from Yonkers, New York, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Cindy. Cindy with the ponytail. Right there on the right. Mandy, there on the apron. Twin sisters are the Women's World Tag Team Champions. Made their debut at Acid Vision. Bowling Green open, answered an open challenge to um, Naomi and Alexia Barnett. It was their first match, and they won. Very rare do you see somebody come on the scene of pro wrestling or SCW or any company, whatever, make your debut in a championship match, and you win the title or titles in the process. Now Sydney going into singles competition. 
One on one. Red versus blue here. Cindy and Manny call themselves the varsity squad. All American cheerleaders are Cindy and Mandy, men all over the world as cheerleaders. Now they decided to take that cheerleading experience and turn it into professional wrestling experience as they have both ladies 23 years old, but they've been teaming for over two years as a pro wrestling tag team. They're still on her, still going. Drop kicking it. Oh, God. Oh. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at, oh. Oh, she was gonna use the chair. She was gonna use it. It's not gonna suck. Look at, look at, look at this. Zero. The big forearm. Oh, and the back elbow there. Oh, she didn't get it. Oh, no forearm for Sakura either. Oh, the kick to the back. Oh, the, the slap across the face. This, oh, no. Look at, oh, no. Missed the spinning heel kick there. Oh, here it comes. Boot song. I don't know how she turned in midair like that, but she did it. And that's it. That was her Sabres competition. Undefeated singles and tag team action. Sydney's the total package, yo. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a grudge match. And here comes the Luchador and White. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 190 pounds, as Peter Kidd. Speak of, the speak of Kid. Had his back stabbed by Antonio Hernandez alongside Corinthe Santos. But Corinthe Santos suffered a little bit more damage than Espiga Blanca did, and we haven't seen him since that horrible day. And then now Antonio Hernandez has already. It already seems like, like he's just. He's, he's a different man. comes stabbing his brothers in the back and his opponent from Guadalajara Jalisco Mexico weighing in at 230 pounds Antonio Hernandez calls himself the king of lucha libre a third generation superstar. Or a third generation luchador is more like it. A former AAA mega champion. Held the title for 540 days. He believes that he's better than everybody on this roster, including his former Lucha Lucha Force stablemates. And now he has a chance to prove it if he can beat a speaker Blanca one on one. Tony Hernandez says, bring it on. And look at this, look at this, look at that. Oh! Chompy got distracted and now let's make a block up with the Look at this big block up. Whoa, no, and wow. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, face. Oh, 
Oh! Libre. Oh my god. Oh! Backbreaker now. And he drops it. You can see the boiling. You can see the the thing it holds to punish someone. Oh god! Right across the middle there. Oh, it's just punishing us being a kid. Oh, oh man. Down here, look how hard I was whipped. And another close. Down here, look Oh, another shot. On the offensive here. Down here, another hard Irish whip. Oh! Jesus. Oh my. Jesus Christ, man. But he is not well, dude. Trente Santos is looking on for a hospital bed somewhere. Trying to cheer on his. Oh, what? Oh! Blanca now! I gotta keep calling him Blanca, damn it! Just be a kid! He's a coming! He's a coming for ya! The leap frog. Oh! Look at this, here he comes! Just be a Blanca! Yes! Yes! The kick off the side of the ear! Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, man! God! Oh my goodness! Off the shoulders! Oh God! That's nasty. Woo! Now a speaker block. Kid's gonna fly! Oh look at that corkscrew! Look at that corkscrew! Now he's gonna fly! Uh oh! Uh oh! Look at! Look at! Look! Right on his face. And that'll do it. Here is your winner, Antonio Hernandez. Now look, he's he's not done. He's not done. Of course he would wouldn't be done. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Speak a kid is just Oh no. Come on, this is not necessary. This is not necessary. You don't need to do this. He doesn't need to go oh, no, not on the chair. And it's for the television championship. It's time for the main event. Oh, oh, yeah. The television title's on the line. Here comes the challenger. There he is. The Lone Rider. Introducing the challenger. From Norwich, England, weighing in at 234 pounds, Brad Pocket. Look at that fight. Look at that man. He's not very tall, but Brad Hawk's still pretty intimidating. Could be the tattoos, it could be the leather jacket, could be the short brown, brown flowing hair. Or maybe because of, it's his, uh, because of it's his past, you know, growing up in a rough home. He left home when he was 15. He saw a motorcycle. 
He got on it, and he figured out how to ride it. That's pretty cool for, you know, for a 15-year-old. Look at all them tattoos that man has. Um, them tattoos aren't going to help when it comes to the challenge as awaits him. Making his, his impact debut. What a debut it's going to be. What a first match. There he is, the television champion. The only two-time television champion. The longest reigning television champion. He's got the mo co mo co most combined days as television champion. Introducing the champion from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 228 pounds, he is the television champion. JM has only suffered one loss in his SCW career, and that came the hand at the hands of the Viper Randy Orton and took his television championship in the process. But a month later, he returns, and he defeats Randy Orton at SCW Invasion Bowling Green. He regains the TV title, and now he's here looking to defend it just after winning the title back. all about right there. Referee Tim Huntington holds the championship up in the air as the television title is on the line in our main event in SCW Impact. Or on SCW Impact. A lie from Cleveland, Ohio. Mm-hmm. JM, he looks ready. Brad Hall looks ready. Brad Hall looks, looks to make history. Winning a championship match in his first match on SCW Impact. Well, actually, Randy Orton was the first man to do that. It was a pay-per-view, but you know, Brad Hall can still do it on on the, on the show here. Oh, missing the knee there. Oh! JM fast as he drops. Brad Hawk on the middle rope. And that's a big running knee off the top rope and fly. Nice. Making you pay for your sins. Thanks everybody on this roster now. And here comes some gator rolling from the Chicago Nate. Oh! Oh, and the pump kick. Bicycle pump kick. And another cover here. Here we go now. And missed. And now Brad Hawk building that momentum again. This big jumping out now. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Little fly. Here we go. Accent low. And here comes the max my driver. Damn now with the cover. Looks the leg, he got him. No, he almost had him. Look out, look out, look out. Hard Irish whip. Oh, God. Yeah, look out, here's an inverted suplex. Shot to the gut. Brad Hawk says, bring it on. Oh, the headbutt by JM. Brad Hawk shakes it off, and now one from him. Look at these two go. Oh, the headbutt again. Damn staggered. Oh! Brad Hawk now. In the right hand by Brad Hawk. Brad Hawk looking for the. Oh! Slurps out. Big! Oh, God! Look out! Look, look out! Oh, God Almighty! JM waited for the right time, and he caught him with the cutter. He caught him with it. That's how you end it. That's how you catch someone by surprise from out of nowhere into the cover. JM retains. 